One foreign language to me is uh, neuroscience. Mm. But mm -hmm. there is a husband and wife run business that found a way to keep its doors open during the pandemic, thinking about both its patients and its employees. We wanted to know more about Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience, run by husband and wife, and they're doing something special during this pandemic, and they've been continuing it throughout, and it's my pleasure now to bring them in. Thank you guys so much for being with us here on Living It Wait. Thank you, John, for having us. And I'd pleasure. like to introduce you, Dr. Corey Liao and his wife, Michelle. Thank you so much. Um, mm. I, I really want to know uh, from you guys real quick, how did COVID-19 impact Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience? Um, I think just like any other business, it was initially one of those things that we all were extremely shocked over um, when we had to go into immediate quarantine and shut everything down. Um, we had to kind of figure out how that we were going to be able to take care of our patients. And we believe that our number one goal is to take care of people and to take care of our patients. So for, in our minds, there was no question that our, we needed to stay true to our core value. So we did everything that we could to keep the doors open and to continue to see patients on a regular basis. Um, we had to make some small adjustments. We had to make sure that we asked our questions, had our social distancing um, procedures in place, but our doors never really shut. Um, we were able to, we were fortunate enough to get telehealth to come in and help us. And that's amazing. Thank you so much for doing whatever it takes because it really means you guys were able to keep folks employed, and I'd like to know if you can expand on that a little bit more, how you were able to keep your doors open and your employees employed. John, we, we want to give credit to our amazing doctors and our employees who really made some sacrifice, took some uh, uh, cut hours. A lot of them even volunteered to come in, uh, so we really want to give them credit for yes. that. Instead of laying off our staff, instead of laying off our doctors, we just repurposed them. Uh, to, to do other things. Uh, we, we, we remember that the lockdown happened and then two days later we were able to implement telehealth uh, which was really important in getting us, uh, getting our patients the care that they need and repurpose our staff so that we don't have to lay off anyone. What does the future of Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience look like? This is a strange time we're living in now. What does it look like for you guys? Honestly, as I said earlier, that we are the type of people that are going to stay true to ourselves and what our mission is. And our number one goal is that we are here to care for, for people. So for us, our future is to be able to continue to be able to serve the community in a way that we're going to be able to go out there and meet their needs. Really our future, our amazing doctors and our employees are really passionate about uh, doing two things. Number one is like Michelle say, meeting our patients where they are at meeting the unmet needs you know in addition to our honolulu and windward kailua office we are going to waikele uh, west oahu and the big island that's where the real needs are we know the patients need need us there we want to be sure that to let the community know that it is our privilege and our commitment to our patients and community to continue to serve them regardless of their insurance and payment ability so that's really our commitment our privilege to do so so it sounds like you guys are still accepting new patients. How can somebody get a hold of you guys? Uh, and if they have any questions, how can they reach you folks? Sure. You can always Google Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. We've got a website there that you can refer to that has a listing of all of our specialists that are available. And then also our phone number, 261-4476. Uh, you can give us a call, you can email us, find us on Facebook, we're on Instagram. So we're on any kind of social media platform that um, you might uh, prefer. Thank you guys so much. We all have all that information on our website shortly after the show. Uh, and you guys stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. The Liao's, I, lo um, th I think that that's great that they were able to uh, keep their doors open and they had everyone in mind not just the patients but their employees they wanted to keep them employed and so they've been doing a great job and absolutely and a lot of people can take away learning from others and how they're doing it as this continues to move forward yes for sure and